Hi guys, I'm Greg Denning. You know, for years I've had the amazing privilege to be an educational mentor. Uh, in fact, I've been able to mentor youth and young adults and adults uh, in several different countries around the world and in all kinds of different situations. It's just been a fantastic experience. I love doing it. I love making a difference in the lives of other people. But I've noticed something that's becoming more and more prevalent. It's screen addiction. And as I ask youth and adults, say, hey, what's the one thing that's really consuming your time? What's the one thing that's keeping you from being your best, from keeping you from reaching your potential? And almost every time they say it's a phone or a video game or some kind of screen. And it's starting to take control, right? It's being like, a, it's taking over our lives like a slave, like a slave owner. And so, you know, there's a hard balance there, right? Because I'm making this video, I'm posting on YouTube and on my, on my website, gregdenning.com, and I hope people watch it. And I teach classes online, and I message parents and students and clients in Facebook. And, you know, we use all those things and send emails, and there's so many great things to learn and so many great educational resources that even my own children are using online. And so there's a tough balance. So I wanted to try to help you help your children break their screen addiction. And if you've got one too, if you're guilty, help you break yours as well. And here's how to do it. And I do this with, with youth. And I, you have to do it yourself. If you don't do this, then your kids will never do it. I mean, dream on. If, if you're not willing to do this, if you're not willing to put it on the line, then your kids won't do it either. So you've got to be willing to well, step it up and make it happen. Well, here's one of the big things you do. You've got to have a big dream. You've got to have a big goal, a big vision, something great you want to work on, right? And it's got to be big. And so I want you to take uh, a time right now and, and say, pick a one-year period. Let's do one year. That, that's simple. And say in the next year, what kind of things do you want to do? You want to read a book a week. Or if you want to really go after it, read two books a week. You want to be able to do 100 consecutive push-ups. Maybe you want to race in a triathlon or a marathon or an ultra marathon. You know, pick some physical goals. Pick some mental goals. What are you going to study? What are you going to memorize? Maybe you want to be fluent in another language by the end of a year. I mean, pick several things where you're just like, yeah, I'm going after it, right? I'm going to go big and I'm going to make it happen. And it's going to require a lot of time, a lot of attention, and a lot of focus. And make it big and exciting. Maybe it's to travel somewhere. Maybe it's to climb Mount Fuji or Kilimanjaro or, or to go, you know, explore Italy or whatever. You know, just pick a great place and something cool you want to do in a, in a big adventure. Something that really excites you. Like you get out of bed in the morning and you can't think about anything else because you want to do this so bad. Find that thing that just lights your fire. Okay? And you're like, wait a minute, I thought this was for my youth or my kid, right? It is. We're getting there. But you have to do it first. okay? Because if you just go into your kid right now and you're like, hey, stop spending so much time on your phone. How's that going to go over? right? Or, or give me your phone. Or I'm, I'm, we got to sit down, son, and have a talk. You really need to limit the time on your phone. That's not going to work. It's, uh, it's replacement, right? you you got to give them something bigger, something better. Give them a vision, a purpose, a plan. But in order to inspire that, you do it first. And so your conversation might go like this. You might walk in one night and you're like, man, guys, I am so excited. And it's got to be sincere. It's got to be genuine. And you go in and you're just like, yeah, man, I'm so excited. I just, I, I got pumped. I watched this video. I got excited about it. And here's my list of the things I want to accomplish within one year from now. And they got to be big and they got to stretch. And be real about it and get excited about it and say, these are the things I'm going to do. And, and here's what I have to do. I've got to make some serious sacrifices. And so I realized I can't waste time. If I really want to hit these goals, I can't be wasting any time. And then once you've done that, like they, they got a, a vision of, of, you know, your excitement. And hopefully you're doing it effectively and sharing your excitement. They're like, that's so cool. And you tell them like, yeah, I, I'm not going to waste any time. Will you help me? We help me not waste time, not to, to get distracted to really keep working on this. And then just say, hey, what's something you want to work on? What's something big? And be willing to sacrifice. Be willing to throw down some money for their project, for their goal. Be willing to put some time into it. Them, you know, Get involved and say, what's something great you want to do? 
You know, maybe, maybe go big, right? Like, hey, you know what? If you, if you start studying French and you can speak pretty decent French in, in the next year, I'll take you to France. Okay. Or, you know, if you, if you learn Spanish, we'll go to Costa Rica where I am now, right? Have an incredible adventure. Like put something on the line. Say, you know, you want to, you want to get in incredible shape. You want to spend a ton of time exercising. I'll pay for us to fly in and do some amazing triathlon somewhere or some, some race somewhere in the world. Maybe we'll go do a half marathon on the Great Wall of China. Right? Whatever. Just make it big. Make it important. Give them a vision to, to not be wasting time, right? Give them the why. Help them see it. And then at that point, you say, you know what? This is where you've got to discipline yourself and say, you know, I want you to do this. You, you do it. I want you to put some really strict standards on yourself, some really high levels of say, you know what, I'm, I'm only going to check my phone or, or my messages or play video games or get, whatever it is, you know, whatever it is that's taking up their time, consuming their life. Say, I'm going to do that a tiny bit after I do first things first. And I'm really going to limit myself and got to have some downtime. Even as, as many great things there are on, on all the screens we've got in our lives, we really have got to have some disconnected time. You know, I love technology. And as much as it's helped me connect with people around the world, there's a real danger that you disconnect with people in your own home. And you disconnect from your purpose and your passion and doing great things. We can't just go through life just spending all our time on our phones and on our gadgets. I mean, it just kills me. It, it literally hurts me when I see, um, you know, people, couples that are just each on their phone or in a restaurant or an airplane and family, they're not even communicating because they're on those things. So get excited yourself. Set a standard for yourself. Get your child to get excited about uh, a, a purpose, a, a mission, a, a dream, and get so into it, so excited about it that they are willing to pay a price, willing to put in the discipline and the time and step away from it. I promise it's going to be amazing. You'll accomplish great things, have great experiences, and they'll choose themselves to step away from the screens so they can get out and have greater experiences. Reach upward.